Following the tragic event that took place yeah, when Travis Scott Astro World Festival, TikTok was flooded with people showing Travis how other celebrities have handled similar situations. That's why today on the show we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 celebrities that saved their fans from danger. I'm your host, Johnny Rogers, and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know right here on IO. But first, if you happen to be new here and you don't want to miss another video, make sure you tap that subscribe button. And with that out of the way, let's begin. I think that there's a good chance that this show is going to get cancelled at some stage. Your security is my responsibility, okay? There is a ton of room down the back of this room. Please, everyone just be coming like this. And we don't want anyone getting hurt. Our squash and the swaying is very dangerous. That's not going to work for the rest of the night. Let's, all, let's organize this before we go any further, okay? Coming in at number 10, Niall Horan. In the wake of the disaster that was Astro World, TikTok users have been posting a lot of examples showing how things could have been handled. One Direction's Niall Horan did an excellent job of ensuring the safety of his fans when he noticed things getting out of control. Back in 2018, during a performance at Mexico City's Pepsi Center, Niall stopped the show so that he could bring attention to people getting reckless in the crowd. He says in the clip, There's a good chance this show is going to get cancelled at some stage. Your security is my responsibility. There's a ton of room down the back of this room. We don't want anyone getting hurt or squashed. This swaying is very dangerous. Let's organize this before we go any further. With people in the comments adding that artists should learn to spot signs that the crowd is going to be getting out of control, much like how Niall pointed out that the crowd swaying was getting dangerous. <laughs> Rolling in the deep, she called an immediate stop to the music after noticing a person had fainted. She says in the clip, Stop, 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 stop. Someone is fainting again. Excuse me, medics right in the middle. She then asked for the people in the crowd to make room for medical officials to get through. And then before she even started the show up again, she asked that person who fainted if they were all right. One Twitter user who shared the video that has since gone viral also added, Notice how Adele can spot one person who needed help and stop the concert until she knew they were okay. But Travis Scott had hundreds injured and multiple dead and he didn't notice nor stop the concert. Some people in that post did defend Travis for briefly stopping the concert a handful of times to point out people who had fainted, but many could not be convinced that he didn't help incite what happened. <laughs> Coming to break, Drake. While performing a pack show in Sydney in 2017, Drake stopped his show mid-performance to call out a fan who was getting a little too handsy with the women in the crowd. Accusing this guy of groping women, Drake points his finger right at the guy and says, If you don't stop touching girls, I'm gonna come out there and f*** you up. Drake has also found himself getting involved with lawsuits regarding the Afterworld Festival tragedy. He had performed on stage with Travis shortly before the mass casualty event took place according to police, which means he also has been getting sued by those blaming him for inciting a riot and violence. One lawsuit is seeking a million dollars in damages and claim that the event organizer Live Nation failed to provide adequate security and medical services. Coming number 7, Billie Eilish. Another video that has resurfaced since this incident shows Billie Eilish stopping her performance of the song Ocean Eyes when she notices someone passed out in the crowd. She then runs to the back of the stage to grab a water bottle and asks them if there's anything else that she can do. Eilish then goes on to say, I care about you guys so much, I want you to be okay. Then to much of my amazement, she actually begins to pass out more water and calm the crowd down before starting the show back up again. And for such a young artist, it was really great to see this level of awareness during her performance. Coming number 6, Idris Elba. Moving away from musicians stopping their shows to help out a fan, here we have a case of a celebrity stopping a theater performance. Back in 2019, during a performance of Tree, which is a play that Idris Elba actually created, a 33-year-old woman had a seizure in the audience. According to reports, at the time, Idris immediately called for a stop to the show and went over to check on the woman. She remembers just waking up and seeing him over top of her, checking and making sure that she was okay, and even accompanying her to an ambulance. The woman told the press later on, I would love to thank you personally, but doubt I will cross paths with him. He's very famous. Coming number five, Tom Holland. Usually at red carpet events or autograph signing, tons of fans show up, but so do a lot of thirsty paparazzi who are just trying to make money off of these signed autographs. One Twitter user told a wild story about going to see Tom at an autograph signing in New York City, and as she was being crushed against the barricade by people wanting Tom's autograph, he actually stepped in to help. She says in the tweet, Tom Holland just threatened grown-ass men, then threw their posters because I was crushed against the barricade. He said, I'm gonna throw your shit on the ground if you keep pushing her, then came to me and calmed me down. I'm literally crushing you. I'm literally okay. It's okay, I got you, I got you. The fans have a 
that she felt like she was going to have a panic attack, but Tom repeatedly assured her that he would help and then asked the crowd to begin backing up. This is real. I want you guys to make sure that you feel okay. You're good. Is it another one? Well, let's do the same thing. Somebody pick them up, and everybody right here, look at me. Everybody look at me. Coming in at number four is Logic. The rapper Logic is another great example of how easy it can be to control your audience when you just shut the music down and ensure safety as a priority. During one of his shows, he witnessed two medical emergencies in the pit area and just asked that the people carefully move to the side so that they could help the people passing out be taken to safety. He then went on to later say in the clip, No matter where you are, from the front, the middle, and on the side, it ain't worth waking up in the hospital for. I also like that he stressed the importance of people just staying hydrated during the show, especially if you're at a concert and you're jammed into a venue like this. It's so important to just get out and catch a breather if you feel like you need it, and kudos to them for recognizing that. We got a little problem Pick them up. up! Pick them up right Everybody now! Everybody up. Sorry, you guys. We gotta look out for safety first, for real. Nobody gets hurt. I mean, number three, Lincoln Park. I knew I was a fan of Lincoln Park before, but man, did this clip ever solidify that. Not only did they stop their show to help a fan who had fallen down, but they also paused to express how important the safety of the event was. As Mike notices a fan getting into trouble in the mosh pit, he immediately stops playing and tells him to cut the music. Chester then jumps up beside him and yells, Pick him up, pick him up right now, as he points into the crowd. Matt then adds, Everybody up. Sorry, you guys, we gotta look out for safety first, for real. Nobody gets hurt, that's number one. I also love that at one point in doing this, Chester start the chant going with the crowd, which gives you this warm feeling like watching the community come together to help each other out. Jesser yells at the crowd, if someone falls down, what do you do? And in synchronized fashion, they all chant back, pick them up. ASAP Rocky. Back at Rolling Loud in 2019, ASAP Rocky was performing on stage when he noticed that the crowd was getting really out of hand. More specifically, he sees that a few girls in the crowd had actually been knocked down to the ground. He immediately calls for the music to stop and starts shouting into the microphone for everyone to just back up. He also starts telling everyone around them to pick the girls up, something that he has to say a few times before people stop freaking out because he's talking right at them. Ah, 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 stop, stop. No, 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 no. You don't can fight at my show, you asshole. Who's, the, who's that right there? Let me see him. Who's fighting right now? And last but certainly not least, our number one spot, Foo Fighters. During a Foo Fighters performance at the iTunes Festival in 2011, Dave Grohl noticed that some fans were actually fighting in the middle of the mosh pit. He then called for a stop to the show just so that he could call them out. Not only that, but he demanded that the guy in the striped shirt that was actually starting the fight leave his show immediately. His demeanor was incredibly furious as he reminded the audience that no one should be hey! Why are you screaming, Tish? Time, he was going to make an example out of this dude. Needless to say, he was met with a massive cheer from the crowd. But that has been the top 10 celebrities that saved their fans from danger. As always, we'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Don't forget to drop a comment down below. But for now, I've been your host, Johnny Rogers. And until next time, stay classy, YouTube. Or at least try. <laughs> uh-uh. No screaming. No matter what you do in life, no matter what you do. I'm not going to call the manager. I'm going to call the superintendent. That's all. I have never seen a kid with a hey, black a in my entire life. Ever. No I screaming. Make <laughs> and so I know that there's both sides of the story. Because your principal was here, and this was disgusting. Yeah. I, 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 mean, I didn't say anything. I don't know why you get mad at me. I'm not saying anything about everyone.
crazy town in Tulsa. Mike, the drama and the tea that was just being spilled there. So this woman who said, I'm not going to hit you yet, for having hit you yet, and also admitted to taking someone's phone and throwing it. You own a daycare? My kids ain't going there, I'll tell you that much. Me, and oh my God, let's go. I just spent $20, $21 on Cardinal, right? And you're going to give me a hard time with that plan? Yeah, I'm going to do that. That is what you're doing. Um, I want to, I forgot to go Oh my gosh, what's happening? For soy milk? Okay. Because I asked for soy milk. Are you not serious? Are we really fighting over soy milk? No one can roll up to Starbucks and say, I spent twenty-one dollars on coffee and then complain about it. Give me a break. Everyone knows that if you're going to Starbucks. Like five dollars okay. of okay. it. It no. However, of the cheap life. Okay. What's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back. I am Fasty and today we're checking out some Karen's who got humiliated on social media. Love to see it. My idiot kids not listen to me and make a figure you two. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I should not call them stupid and they call them that yet. But they're not listen to me. My kids are bad kids. I finally woke up again. I don't like to talk on uh, my YouTube videos, you know. I'm not like my husband. Some people love to talk. I will talk too. But I don't feel comfy because of my speech issues. Why don't you park in a handicapped spot? 
This is not a handicap spot. I designed the always pan to replace eight pieces of cookware. It can boil, saute, steam, strain. Wait, I can even steam bow in this pan? Definitely. So I can deep fry abuelitas empanadas? Fart. Okay, there is a spot literally right there. Park in the spot right next to you. Tell me to shut up again. Tell me to shut up again. Y'all are literally fighting over parking spots? What are we fighting over? <laughs> I thought they were arguing over a parking spot, but the girl is literally parked. And this one woman wants her spot, but she's not handicapped. And she said, why don't you park in the handicapped spot? Because this is not a handicapped spot. You know, I feel like if that old woman would have been nice and said, you know, I have a bad back or something like this. Do you mind if I park here and you can move to a further spot since you're young? Maybe she would have. But by you calling her B-word and telling her to shut up, I would do it. Oh, 